next one we got, guys, is from Chelsea. Lincoln Park, Breaking the Habit. Let's do it right now. Fuck, dude, like, rest in peace. Um, you know, I've had quite a few friends kill themselves. You know, like, one when I was 13. Mm. Another one when I was 19. Another one just back in, like, 2016. Melissa, rest in peace. And uh, now that I've had time to reflect their lives after their death, it's like, it was fucking obvious. It was so obvious. And y- people need to fucking say something. Mm-hmm. 
when you see these things from your friends, you need to fucking do something about it. Because people are crying out for help in the most discreet ways all the time. I did it for a living with teenagers, at-risk youth. They're screaming out for help in so many ways. And if you see it, you need to fucking do something about it. And I don't like listening to Linkin Park. Because all I, all I hear is a suicide victim. That's all I hear when I listen to the music. I, I can't even enjoy it. It's sad. It's terribly melancholy for me. Mm-hmm. Which is entertaining. It's seriously emotional. Especially after the fact that he is dead. And these mu- this music did happen. And he was screaming out for help like he was the whole time from the top of his lungs. Why didn't anybody help him? I'm sure lots of people tried. Yeah. Yeah, that's an 8.5. Sad song. Just what are you saying? So we're always vibing. Yes, you felt my my vibes. I lost um, a friend, like best friend, since we were in second grade in like our 20s. Uh, Her birthday... And her the date of her passing is only like two months apart, and this is exactly what I was vibing on. Um, yeah, I love Lincoln Park though because life is pain, life is suffering, and that's you what he was really singing gotta, about the, yeah. his mistakes. You gotta, you gotta appreciate it, <coughs> and, and, and there's people that are gonna take themselves out, there's people that are gonna die suddenly, there's people that are gonna suffer, and they didn't deserve a minute of it, and they get years mm-hmm. of it. That's life, but like. I don't know. You gotta appreciate every moment. That's a friend of mine positive. on Monday. Songs positive for me. She she received word, not a close friend, but close friends of my close friends. Mm-hmm. Um, received word about a month ago that she had terminal stomach cancer, and it spread into everything around her stomach, so all your organs. And in Canada, you can kill yourself with help. So she did that. She mm-hmm. took her own life. A government That's assistant good. suicide. Mm-hmm. I don't judge. I would. I, yeah. If I was about to enter the worst suffering of my life, you know, she chose suicide. I I might too. Is, my, is fre- even really frequently like medically assisted for they they label it for whatever reason. It's like it's like I I really appreciate that we live. It's in tapping the age out. Of it's Google. tapping out. Yeah. No. So like. I've watched people suffer and like, I Mm. feel like I would want to fight tooth and nail, Mm. but I respect people's choice to not. Mm -hmm. Like every time I talk to my dad, who's been dying for 30 years with disease, heart disease and kidney failure and pancreas era, era, bladder cancer, prostate cancer. And I talked to him the other night and I said, Dad, with all the fucking surgery you've got, you probably you're probably gonna live to be ninety. And he says, I don't think I'd want to. He's seventy eight years old. He's already oh. want he already wants to die. Yeah. I love my eighty nine year old grandpa, but he's always like he's always like, Yeah, so if I don't see you <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Out. Just Out. in case, just in case. <laughs> He's like, I probably no, I mean, make it. every time I see him, my I dad's make it really, pl- really pleasant. Like he's yeah. really, he's he's upbeat and he's funny it. and he's, but at the same time, he's miserable, Ugh. fucking miserable, right? But life is misery. You gotta <laughs> it can be all the positives. Ah, uh, Preston, we hear from you on this. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, next up.